at a time when public attention is particularly focused on medical advances, of course, coronavirus, this year's Nobel Prize for Medicine, has been awarded for the discovery of the hepatitis C uh, virus. The work of Americans Harvey Alter and Charles Rice and Britain Michael Horton were honoured in Stockholm. The prize is especially significant this year as the world grapples with the COVID-19 pandemic. This year's Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine awards the discovery of the hepatitis C virus, a major cause of liver inflammation, also known as hepatitis. In their latest report, the World Health Organization estimated over 70 million cases of hepatitis C globally. This is likely an underestimation as many cases go undiagnosed. Hepatitis C causes 400,000 deaths annually, and it's one of the most common causes of liver cancer and liver transplantation. Okay, let's talk now to Dr. Gilbert Thompson in London. He's author of the book Nobel Prizes That Changed Medicine. He's an emeritus professor at Imperial College in London. Dr. Thompson, good to have you here on the News Hour. How significant was this discovery? Very significant indeed. It revolutionized the, uh, the safety of blood transfusions for thousands of people. Um, in the past, uh, there was what was called non-A, non-B hepatitis, and this seemed to be associated with transfused blood, particularly blood that had been obtained, obtained from paid blood donors, many of whom I think were probably drug addicts, uh, and virtually no infections resulting from volunteer blood donors. Um, and the work of, um, of, 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 of Alter and Houghton, uh, as I say, has completely transformed medicine and arguably has saved millions of lives, probably quite a bit more than so far the coronavirus has, uh, has done. Does this mean that if the team behind this discovery have discovered and been able to tag and identify the virus, by definition, I guess, we're one step closer to being able to come up with a vaccine. You mean for the coronavirus? No, for this particular condition that, that we're discussing. The hepatitis C? Yes. Um, I don't think there is a, va a vaccine for... I, I, I could be wrong, but um, I think the main result of the discovery of hepatitis C was that it was possible to check all blood for contamination with this virus before it was transfused. Um, and as far as treatment of people who've actually got hepatitis C, I think the, the drugs that are now used very successfully to cure such individuals resulted from the work done by Charles Rice at the Rockefeller where he successfully cloned um, the virus and was able to undertake studies in vitro with cultured human cells, liver cells, and thereby um, help the drug industry to develop um, these combinations of drugs which are curative. OK, we'll leave it there. Dr Gilbert Thompson talking to us on Skype from London. Good to talk to you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you.